Hey, what's up everybody? We are Kearns DV and we're back again today with another video. Yeah, so this video is probably just gonna be a couple days of thrifting. Uh, flea markets aren't until the weekend and I'm off this week, so just basically going to the same thrift stores all week long. And hopefully we can find something to stick around. Okay guys, yeah, that's it for Goodwill. We're leaving, we only got two hard goods. The keyboard should be, it's, if it works, I'm hoping it does. I don't have batteries to test it right now, but if it works, it should be an easy 75 bucks, so. And the beer stand, I'm probably just gonna collect it. I have a couple already at home. We're gonna be heading to another thrift store. It's Value Village. I don't really like going there because the prices are redonkulous. But we didn't get any clothes today and uh, I have the whole day to thrift and I wanna find something, so. That's what we're doing. Guys, found a beauty. So we're walking out of there with three tees. Just basic shit. Four dollars a piece, but it is what it is. Okay guys, we're back home now, hanging out with the kitty. We're just gonna go over a find real fast. I think it was about three days of thrifting. Uh, I think I did pretty good. We'll start off with the hard goods. First, I did pick up this 1997 uh, Budweiser Bierstein, complete in box for five dollars. These usually go for like 15 to 20. Yeah, I don't normally pick up hard goods, but I wasn't passing on this Yamaha keyboard. I did take a gamble. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. The back was a little corroded, so I didn't think the battery part would work. But it does have a port for a plug-in. So I took the gamble, $9. Comps are crazy. Comps are like $75 to $115 plus $40 shipped. So... <clears throat> Please don't get electrocuted. Okay. So, plugged in, turned on, you can see, we're in the profit. <laughs> yeah, that's Zelda. <laughs> we do have a nice little stack of clothes here. We'll just go through this really fast, because I always say, let's go through it really fast. Now, my cat hates plastic bags, so she just took off. I did not film these three pickups. These are little toddler shirts, uh, two bucks each. They were blasting music in Salvation Army, so. First one is this cool uh, single stitch. It is on the Fruit of the Loom tag, two bucks. I didn't pull these things off yet. Boca Raton. And then this one's awesome. <laughs> it does suck that it's all stained up on the bottom. Hopefully I can get that out. But it's like someone just uh, had Taco Bell and then they didn't have toilet paper. So it's just <laughs> this weird graphic. It's dated 1990 and it's just a person with a pony. And it says, isn't that a funny name for a pony? Like, what the? <laughs> what is this? Single stitch. It is on the fruit of the loom tag? Yeah, fruit of the loom tag. Pop up. And the last T is this uh, F.A. Was it F.A.O. Schwartz, Fifth Avenue? I think it was a toy store. I think it was in Home Alone 2. I think that's the one. I guess on Fifth Avenue. Just a sweet single dingle all around. Why not? Then we did get these next pickups on camera. These were just basic vintage tees, nothing crazy. I do pay $4 a tee at Goodwill. My opinion, I think these are $15, $15 maybe $20 tees. 
So first tee is this uh, Chicago Native. It is on one of the best tags. Fruit of the Loom XL, single stitched. It's on the bottom too. Yeah, single dingle all around. Maybe fifteen dollar tee. Then we do have this uh, Bahamas single stitch tee. Missing the tag. It does look like to be an XL. Just a cool graphic tee. Fifteen bucks. And then the last tee from that Goodwill is this uh, Vintage Chicago, double-sided, single stitch all around, another $15 tee. And then we did go to the Value Village. I filmed a little bit in there, but you're not supposed to film. It's all over the walls, like you can get in trouble for filming or whatever BS. So I just uh, kind of filmed me, like what I found, not actually finding it. First is this awesome toddler jacket. This is a Starters. Vintage uh, Florida Gators. Four tees. So this will be for my son for the winter. Next, we did pick up this Washington Huskies. This thing is so minty clean. And look how, look at this tag. It's a beautiful tag right there. Made in USA. It's white and I can't believe it's so clean. Very soft. This is an awesome one. This is probably like 30 bucks. And the best piece of this week, in my opinion, is this vintage, I think 1995 uh, Nike uh, Sport authentic jersey. So when it has the number there, it's an authentic. You, sometimes it would just say large or medium or XL, whatever. It is made in USA. You can see the tag right here. It is sewn. It's, it's not a screen printing uh, jersey. It is stitched or sewn in, whatever you call it. It's Duke uh, Blue Devils out of North Carolina. The player, I think, was Cherokee Parks, if I looked that up right. Yeah, so this definitely is a sweet jersey. I did pay up for it. I hate paying up for stuff. Uh, but 25 bucks, I could easily double my money. I could easily probably just bring this to Top Shelf Kicks and you give me 50 bucks for it. This is probably anywhere from 75 to, i say, 125 uh, value on this jersey. Yeah, guys, so that's it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.